technology affected how we create and manage relationships, but not as people think. Smartphones gave us just what people needed for. That is a faster and more reliable way to stay in contact, to stay in touch with their friends or family, relatives and so on. A way to stay connected all day long without uh, barriers uh, nor boundaries. As such, communications are faster and uh, without limits. We have no limits about uh, space and times, as we live uh, a real-time world uh, nowadays. And this changed the way we behave. For example, once upon a time uh, you had to schedule your meetings uh, with your friends, but not only with them, of course way before the day of the meetings. Now, an instant message uh, asking, uh, hey, where are you? Five minutes before the meetings is enough. So you don't rely on a place anymore, a hub, a center of your life. Uh, I mean, uh, once upon a time, the only way to stay in touch with others was by your home telephone or your office telephone. So your home or your office was the center of your life, a node for all your communications. Now we keep our communications tools with us along the day. And this is why we changed our behavior and we entered a real-time society, a real-time world, a real-time age. Furthermore, while 20 years ago or more, we were used to long delays from one communication to another one. Think about uh, letters, but also calls, uh, phone calls. Because if you was phoning me, asking me something uh, in the evening, chances were uh, you had to wait uh, another day before I was able to phone you again with the answer. Now we live the instant. And it makes us unable to manage uncertainty because uh, we expect the other person uh, to reply as soon as possible. That means after uh, 10, 20 or 30 seconds. So if we don't get a reply in uh, 5, 10 minutes, uh, we get anxious and we start asking, hey, are you there? Is there anyone there? And so on. While some time ago we had to wait uh, many hours uh, or even days before the reply. These are just examples, of course, and our teenagers are deep inside these dynamics, as they were born in the digital age.